a great spiritual scientist, 2500 years back, Gautama Buddha, he saw everywhere there is Dukkha, there is suffering. That's a scientific observation. And the next observation that all this Dukkha is because of uncontrollable desires. Krishna, your desires are uncontrolled. Erratic. Okay. You have got no control on your desires. Krishna is that. And the third scientific truth is that your uncontrollable nature is because of lack of education. Avidya. Then you should have vidya, that is education, that is spiritual science. Which education? Spiritual science education. That your views should be perfect, your speech should be perfect. Your choices should be perfect, your way of behavior, your what you need should be perfect, what you listen should be perfect, what you put your attention on that should be concentration should be perfect, and what work, the way you do meditation should be perfect. There are the eight points to obtain Sukhidya, to kick out the avidya in you, so that your, your desires are very, very controlled, mature. Why? Yes. Or reasonable. There will be no dukkha. No suffering. When all your speech, all your thoughts, and all your deeds, mainly you are eating, they become righteous. You are called a right person. When you are speaking wrongly, eating wrongly, thinking wrongly, you are a wrong person. Another term for being a right person is enlightened. Another way of saying something about the wrong person is that you are not yet enlightened. You don't know still how to think. You don't know how to speak. You don't know how to eat. You don't know how to listen to others. You are not yet enlightened. Here, we teach you enlightenment because I am an enlightened person. What does enlightenment mean? I know what to speak and how to speak. When to speak. I know what to eat, how to eat and when to eat. I know what to think and when to think and how, how much to think and how, when, when not to think. So when you become right and proper in all these departments of your deeds and words and thoughts, you are the right person. You have overcome all the errors or unscientific methods in your speech, in your thoughts and in your deeds, you have become a spiritual scientist. You will go this happiness, but you will not achieve happiness until you become a spiritual scientist.